Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Moin. Oh, finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. La 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 I don't even because all of this looks very peculiar. <laughs> la 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 la. <laughs> I mean, without any volume on that at all, it was fucking baffling. <laughs> Hello, peoples. Yes, I'm losing my mind. When did Ben do the little dance? Oh, that's ages ago. Uh, I, I I think it was in some weekend. Uh, I, I could potentially even be in an intro or something. Weird. So hey, weird. Also, it was just a three second short and I looped it four times. So, <laughs> hello, Crispin, Dan Lee, Still. Ori, Noko, Demon Sop, Emma, Amanda, Jemis Cots. Jam, 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 jam. <laughs> that diverse Jack shows that uh, like it's pro. <laughs> oh, Never horsey. go full retard. <laughs> Never go full retard. <laughs> Uh, yeah, for, for some odd reason, I felt the urge to uh, challenge Ben to a duel of terrain. Yep. I don't Say know that. why. <laughs> and he accepted, which is fun. Let's see how this goes. My favorite part of all this is Lloyd losing his mind over it. <laughs> my favorite part. Because <laughs> yeah, like, fuck it, we'll do it. I was like, but he can do it. I honestly don't care. You know, <laughs> I, I went for scenery September because it's alliterative. Yeah, it's nice. And people always do shit like that. I go, oh, we can't do it in September. Oh, don't fucking do it in September. Honestly, don't care. Well, do it in November. Do it next year. Couldn't give a fuck. Oh, do you need screens and stuff for it? Nope. <laughs> do, do you need anything? Nope. Do you have prizes? Nope. Just get people making trade. Yeah. And he was freaking the fuck out. Oh, we can't do it in September. We'll have to push back to blah. And then whenever you said that to Ben, and Ben went, yeah, sure. It's going, oh, no, you have to get in there and tell him no. We're not doing it then. So it fucking doesn't make a blind bit of difference. Honestly, not everything has to be a fucking competition. Not everything needs to be promoted with specially developed intros and fucking boards <laughs> and stuff. Fuck it. No, just, just wing it. Go with it. Want to make some terrain? I want to make some terrain. Let's make some terrain. You still want to make some terrain? Fuck yes. I'm still making some terrain. This is how <laughs> this goes. It's hobby. Oh. It's not work. I, I didn't ch challenge Ben Shaw of OTT. I challenged because of dragons. So Oh, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's just, I, just, I just love it so much. Ben, or, or ben Lloyd freaks, freaks out all the time. So he did. Uh, he went to, I was like, at most, we'll need something like a tag for the. Uh, for the project for, system? For the project system. No, Come on, that's one thing we'll need. So I put a tag in. I went, there's a tag in there now. Well, it's not active yet. It shouldn't be active yet. I went, I've deleted it now. All right, okay. It's gone. There you go. That's as much effort as I plan on putting into this point. <laughs> that, me going into the project system and adding that little terrain or whatever the fuck it was, tag. <laughs> and, and that's it. And then the rest I'm going to set with my feet up. Oh, Ornament October. That's a good one. <laughs> Hello, Tuffy. So, well, yeah, people could, people just need to take a deep breath. Could also when you've be got firefighters crashing into cliff sides and grease yeah. because their country's <laughs> on fire, uh, you know, and many, many wars everywhere, you've got to look at it and go, are we putting a terrain thing out in September or November? Uh, does anybody care? Or, or maybe just let two dudes have some fun building terrain, getting shit done. No, not allowed. The, the worst part of it was uh, when I had challenged Ben, I was starting to think, okay, I know that one terrain piece I really want to finish. Let's let's make a list in my mind how many terrain pieces are scattered across this area of living that I need to finish. And I stopped counting after I hit five major projects. Okay. So after five terrain pieces, so that's not bad. Well, it's two massive boards. Uh, it's almost 
every terrain that came with the original 40k magazine stuff that's sitting on the shelf up there somewhere. <laughs> oh, all the cardboard ones? Oh, no, 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 no. The, the Conquest magazine. Oh, yeah, no, I never looked near that. And uh, also, then there's still the box of Bot War terrain to be built. Boss War, Boss War, so, Boss Boss War, War. Technically, war. Ben could actually win this if I don't do Zilch and he just paints one additional tree. <laughs> it's madness. I should get my trees. I think about 150 of them in a box behind me. About 80 or so deciduous and 80 or so coniferous that just need uh, <laughs> flocked. Sprinkle a little green. Pretty much. Well, clump foliaged. And then uh, flocked or static grass, and then sealed. Yeah, it's just... it at some point. I I'm pretty much looking for forward to this and uh, actually... I, I was a bit amused when Lloyd came in the forum and said, oh, no, we are not doing September challenge. But yeah, nobody said anything about a September challenge. <laughs> Bad panic. <laughs> I'm on holidays. People don't realize I'm on holidays and then I've got stuff to do. It's like, oh, again, don't, don't care. Please. My transcript from Discord is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Please be calming thy tits. <laughs> Pretty much. Good times. <laughs> Yeah. Good times was had by me. Mm. Monorail. Ooh. TT Combat do 8 mil, 10 mil scale stuff. Yeah, or is that, it just... No, it was uh, six months ago or so. There was uh, the terrain in the um, in the new section, and I was wondering if they came with uh, with the stilts or just the, the, the rails, because on the project page of the manufacturer, nothing was stated about that. It just said train. I honestly didn't know they did that scale. Or did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't care. That could be it. I might not have cared. <laughs> possible. It is very, very possible. What's yeah, Romley, I, I think you, you were the one to point that out to me, that it actually comes with pillars and tracks. But the project just, uh, product description doesn't really make any sense in that regard so even companies do weird stuff at times good news everyone knuckle duster have just released a blister for apaches Indian which... or helicopters engines what okay. type of apache engines so that may answer my what redskins do i want for wild west games question you, you want to too. To be fair, I want planes engines as well, though, with the big feathery headdresses and that. <laughs> so, it's all good. Or you could just get, get some children and dress them up as Indians. Yep. Uh, of course, Drop Zone Commander. I remember when that existed. Drop Zone, Drop Fleet, don't drop it. Uh, you know, someday. Someday I'll be back. I'll never be back. <laughs> I'll uh, be yeah, back. It's like 8 mil, I think. Well, actually, no, because they don't. They use actual proper scale. So, anyway. Yeah, so let, let, let's go on into the project system and look at people's projects. System? Look at people's projects. Well, we could also try system looking at private projects. parts. Well, funny you say that. Let's combine the two. <laughs> B mother with his 40k terrain. Oh, terrain! What did inspire you that to, to look at to, to think? <laughs> now, I need you to open any of these uh, initial pictures. The second one and the fourth one across the top there are my two favorites because these are some 3D printed things. We'll get the 3D print in a minute. But doesn't it look like he's photoshopped things out in pink? The pink doesn't look real. It's, it doesn't look like it's been painted on over the color flip paints, especially look at the zoom in on the middle um, one with the spikes in the pink. The spikes look like they've been photoshopped on. Scroll right, right, right. More right, not less up, more right. The other right, not down. There we go. Now we're flying. Yeah, look, those spikes in the middle, all of it because the flat, not coated pink. <laughs> 
it just looks so weird. It looks like I've gone in and photoshopped these bits on top, but there we go. That's and the done. extreme lighting from the side doesn't help either. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's because of the. Um, I don't. I don't think it would matter where he went because the color flip paints and the pink just looks so unnatural together. I just fucking <laughs> love it. Yeah. Obviously, there's more to do. That's just the base coat for the fleshy underbelly. That's... But it just looks like it looks like when I've been trying to mask something in Photoshop <laughs> and it's given up. And by Photoshop, I mean photo pee because I'm not paying for that. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Fucking great. Ah, aren't they great? Um, I, now, now imagine playing a game in bright sunlight and being intoxicated with alcohol and looking at oh, that terrain. <laughs> it would. Harsh my mellow. A, a subtle nightmare. Could be. Could be a subtle nightmare. Well, it's Zorg. So, yes, these are um, a bunch of 40k esque tyrannid spiny bits that he's got off the internet from Thingy. Thing it says Thingiverse, but I think that's Thingiverse. Yeah. But he's just messed a letter out. Anyway, so just a load of. 3D spikes that have been um, sprayed black and then color flip painted and then the fleshy underbelly. Thingiverse. <laughs> well, I like Thingiverse better. <laughs> Thingiverse is, sounds great. It's, uh, it's what I call Redverse when I can't remember the red part. Do the guy I'm talking about. Thingiverse. That's the one. <laughs> sounds but, a bit like a dildo making company, Thingiverse. That, that's, sure. Also them. Oh, but look. See where a, they end up. A gate. Yes. It's not from Antares. I think he got a golden button for this. Did he? Cheeky. I think partner. so. I think I demanded it. Because <gasps> even the um, gold and the Jafar uh, came from the thing of hers. And his little stargate bit. The only problem I have is the little stargate bit in the middle. The. Uh, what they call it? Is it the event horizon? I don't know. Anyway, the puddle. The yep. puddle is noticeably glued in. If that could have been. Ah, just... okay. I see what you mean. The 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 uh, disc he cut is too too small for the hole. It actually has gaps in it. Yeah. Well, you know. Well, let, let's, let's face sure it. There's a better way of masking that, possibly via the medium of artist's thick gel. I probably should have told them that actually months ago. If you ever watch this, you should use artist's thick gel. But let's let's be fair. Uh, this is a terrain piece, and by looking at it, it this way, like we're doing on screen now, it's like holding it right in front of our noses, which usually doesn't happen yes. while playing games. Oh, no, there's no way, even from a distance. The, what looks like a cotton wool bud stuck in the right hand side. I would not be able to see that. Well, once you see that, you can't unsee it. That's true. That's why you need to break out the thick artist's gel. Extra Hello, Dave. Thick. Too small for the hole. Hello, Dave. Hello, Pete. Hello, Zorg. Uh, you naughty boy. Mm. Hey, what? I, I'm, I'm talking to Dave here. I don't know what you mean. Hmm. He's not a naughty boy. He's the Messiah. Oh, hang on. He's not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. Help! Oh, you've started him off. That's not me. That's on you. Get yeah. on with it. Yes, get on with it. Yes. Get on with it. <laughs> don't ever tempt me. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. So, yes. <gasps> Yes, BM Some other nice one. Uh, what shiny name? chimneys and pink fleshy bits. <laughs> fleshy chimney bits. Mm. Fleshy. Yes, James, get on with it. <laughs> I have. See. Oh look, horsey men and people with uh, spiky bits. But ears. Ears. No, that's a picture I haven't seen before. That's right. odd looking. <laughs> what what odd looking bit? His uh, helmet with the bishop's oh. helm on top of it. Right, because all of that looks fine to me, except the double white dot at his crotch, which must be from <laughs> all the screenshotty things. 
That's what I focused on, <laughs> the inaccuracy in the picture of the big double white bollock. This is not the centre of attention. This is a holy man. Please look other ways. Not Do not look at the naughty bits. Say that. <laughs> He's allowed to use them. He can uh, do all the naughtiness he wants. Anyway. Yeah? I thought bishops weren't allowed to be naughty. That's very modern. Not marrying only came into the priesthood in the 12th... 1200s, 13th century. So, the Barons' War is earlier? I don't know when the Barons' War is. Pete, you're in, in, in chat. When's Barons' War? Is it earlier? It could be touch and cloth as far as when they actually brought the prohibition in. 1250 could be right on the brink, so he yeah. may still be allowed to have naughty bits. That's well. what I'm saying. Oh, came down to one lunatic monk who demanded his... Uh, changes but up until then it was perfectly valid to be married so uh, these modern ideas i'm sure they'll blow over it's not it's not even been 900 years yet <laughs> Fuck's sake. well technically it has been blown over by since the uh, church has split into various sub factions uh, I, I don't count any of them these fly by night <laughs> fucking, not even not even 400 years old some of those cats Got to stick with the originals. Anyway, CS so yes, Pierce has been hammering away. his way through various um, catalogs, looking for bits and pieces. He can find himself a little Turkapool guide, which is really nice. Presumably, all I know most come from the Footsword Barons War range. Um, so, presumably, that Turkapool guide lives in there as well somewhere. Yeah, he's a he's a terrible bastard, Pete. You're right. <laughs> yes, though. Lovely football team. <laughs> it's horrendous. You just go. What are you could do today? Oh, I'm just going to bash out a, a unit of fucking men at arms or some sort of scouting bunch of scumbags. Just going. Ah, I hate you so much, Pierce. I hate you so much. What am I doing tonight? I'm going to sit here. And Scroll through nine gag while contemplating putting paint on a model, then go, Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> Seems like an awful lot of effort, anyway. Yeah, also, you're never getting a golden button, so why even care? No, that's true. We told our word years ago, didn't get it, and so now you're not eligible. Oh, not rage, rage, outrage, noise, deceptions every day. <laughs> He is. He is indeed. And I mean, you have to imagine that he's doing these in between or after he's done, you know, a load of plastic soldier box art type stuff. He's going, ah, uh, shocking. Some people are just way too talented for their own good. Yep. That's why we find his house. And when he's out walking his dogs, we steal all his stuff. <laughs> but just the painted. Oh, fuck, yeah. <laughs> I don't need any more unpainted stuff in there. You're kidding me. Oh, Pierce, follow yeah. him on Instagram. I follow him around the park. Da, da, da. <laughs> Speaking of following, have you finally pinpointed Marco? Have you? No, I, I'm asking you. Have you pinpointed Oh, him? no. Not yet. Not yet? Uh, Give it time. Maybe. Somebody, maybe. Got, somebody got a left home in the same taxi from one of his um, painting weekends. Mm. So Marco got dropped off on the way to the digs the other fellow was taking. In. So it's close. Getting closer. <laughs> Island isn't that big. Sooner or later you'll find him. True. But there's, you know, still knocking on 7,999,990 odd doors. Well, I'm guessing since you know which town he's in, you can just leave it at that. That should lessen the knockage. Uh, it's not not by as much as you would think. <laughs> it's one of those annoying ones that's really full of people. Ah. Well. I know it's ways off, but is the visitor enter open over Christmas? I think you mean Santa. I'm going to say maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Mayhaps, Perby. 
Um, because I know last year, I think Warren just went ahead and closed it so the guys could get time off over Christmas. So, yeah, oh, right. you find a crazy guy in Dublin. It's really easy. You just walk down O'Connell Street these days, you'll find loads <laughs> of them and then get stabbed. Oh, no. Uh, you know, stabbed by a pointy stick. At last, no, no pointy stick. Oh, not even class. Yeah. Ah, speaking of, can can we go to the next classroom? Yes. Oh, nice. Resolution twenty twenty three: Rage Against Raging Heroes. Well, Dan Lee, that certainly took a number on you. Yes. <gasps> Again, way too talented, way too productive. Hmm. Kids will do anything for Dan Lee. Will they? That's what the old advert used to say. Fairly mm. certain. Uh, not been here in a little while, and I think there's been four new ones snucked in. One, two, three. Yes, four new ones snucked in. <laughs> I quite like these. So, first of all, is this lady with uh, multiple tickles, not just ten? Yep. She's like some sort of floating crazy lady with sides or sickles. I, I think sickles, because short handle. Big horns. Horny girl with sickles. Avoid. Do not stick in crazy. It reminds me of uh, Ice Queen for the... Oh, what's the Yeti faction called in Crocodile Games? Warlords of Egyptus. Hyperborea. Chris Fitzpatrick has a, um, like an elf witch queen, ice queen. Um, who looks similar. She's also floating. I found her the other day when I was looking for something else. It's good. The release was Ice Queen themed, says Dan Lee. Mm. That makes sense. Well, like ice cream. And then there's this lady with the very angry looking power fists. Yes, not I... Lehman Russ. Lena Russ. <laughs> <laughs> Lena Russ. Well, I, I got to say, I, I like the fact that you actually can see her actual fist and that the power fists quote-unquote are just an add-on yeah it's so you can still like take the lid off your yogurt yeah ha have a drink between battle and like eat your yogurt because try doing that with those big gloves you're gonna crush your <laughs> yogurt there'll be petty flu all over the place uh also you're never getting that off again no that's true and then there's this weird monk <laughs> yeah sure demi god Goddess. It's creepy. Give it to us. Don't it's blink. Creepy creepiness and it's creepy bony wings covered in streams of creepy. Uh, Acrimonia, the cursed saint. Yeah, sure. Why well, she got three arms? That's why I want to know. Huh? What's going on there? That's not right. Uh, well, actually, maybe four arms. Uh, it's four. She, she sold two Even holding worse. hands, one mouth and one on the lower left. Yeah. Keep your eye out for her. Uh, I mean, she may be hiding another arm somewhere. Oh, touch Slaneshi for my liking. For, for the means of uh, pickpocketing and stuff. And a green knigget. Oh, that'd be interesting. A very green knigget. Which... I don't know if I would go flip paint, but the pearlescent paints you can get which just have a, a clear medium. That could be interesting. Mm, 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 mm. Follow Madonna with the big boobies, Vy Van Klomp. Sorry, what are you doing, Green Lady? Leshen? Mm. Green Knigget. Sure it's not Leshen. Mm. It's got leaves and horns. I mean, that's practically one. And what's a Virleth Star Seer Siren? Who? If you'd say so. Thinks of these names. Yeah, that's that's some kind of singing lady. And I what's... think they uh, just have a random number generator type thing, but with, <laughs> with syllables. Uh, they just oh, you mean button. he's having a uh, bag of Scrabble and then just pouring the, the bag out? 
Oh, I'm pretty sure, certain that um, Raging Heroes name all of these. <laughs> so it's it's somebody there in France going a bit mental. Well, you you say they're going to be a bit mental. I say it's the French. The French. Da, da, da. I really wonder how you managed to stay sane with this green knigget miniature. It just looks weird. <laughs> how many greens can you get on a model? Yes. Well, you know, it's one way of doing it. And at the end of the day, if you're going to have a green knight, painting them a different color would be odd. Do you remember whenever Gim's Workshop decided the grey knight should be a terracotta red? What the mm. fuck were they smoking that day? Uh, didn't uh, what's the faction called again? Space Wolf have a different color at time? Well, they were Space Wolf grey. So. They were right. Yeah, but I, th I, th was, I, I was under the impression they had a color change somewhere yeah, along they, the lines. Well, or did they just rename in, the in third color? edition, somebody decided they weren't going to paint them Space Wolf Grey because it was too difficult and painted them Codex Grey, which was a darker grey and much easier to paint. Oh, maybe that's... And then, and then the entire community went, oh my god, that's amazing. Look, I have to learn how to shade or blend. <laughs> so they all jumped on board that. Space Wolves should be Space Wolf Grey and Shadow Grey. If you're painting the Codex Grey, you're fucking wrong. Go fuck yourselves. That is a public service announcement on behalf of <laughs> Lehman Ross, who is still trapped in the warp. None is he? He can't could even think what colour he should be. Is he really? Yeah. Mm. Well, he went into the warp looking for his best prison buddy, Lionel. Good old Dark Angel boy. Uh, there was the, none the of the Dark Angels told him. Uh, he was fucking stuck in the basement, which I think is cheeky as fuck. The Dark Angels, they need to be fucked up. But isn't he uh, the, the Johnson line back again? I know. Aye. Aye, sauntering around. And at some point, they will bring Lehman Ross back. And I'd like to point out, when Lehman Ross left, he was bald, scarred heavenly, and had to breathe through a respirator like Vader. Essentially, he looked like Vader after Vader took the helmet off because he got caught outside in an acid rain storm on some planet and it fucked his lungs. So when he returns, I don't want to see hair. I don't <laughs> want to see a fucking mouth or nose. He should be sewn up like Rico on Titan. Yeah. However, what are the chances anybody from Games Workshop actually knows their fucking backstory? The cunts. They and won't. the thing is, he will be primaricized. Oh, so... Christ. Oh, please don't. Why would they, you even say that? They they will <sighs> make him grow again, and then because <sighs> he's growing, he, his hair grows back. And oh, get okay, fucked, Games Workshop. They haven't even done it yet, and they can already <laughs> get fucked to the moon. You know I'm right. You know they will do it that way. Space Wolf Grey is awesome. I'm thinking, what? Doesn't Army Painter also have a grey? Probably. Lots of people have greys. Uh, it's very common. Wolf grey. Black and white together. You get wolf, it. Wolf grey. You're going to make me reach my original pink eye, don't you? It's, it's a, it's a blue-greyish colour. That's a good start. Oh, I'll reach for it now. Oh, it's too... Fuck it. You discovered Games Workshop branded Bacta. Yeah, there, there's your... He, he's getting a wig and yeah, fuck with that as well. The the uh, old relic. Uh, that's what you should be doing. He's gone. <laughs> yeah. Simple Jack. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's obviously too good for all of you to see. Yeah, the machine spirit is not happy. I don't understand how that works. Look, their face is on here. Here's Lehman Ross before he got fucking baked. With Frecky and Gary. Good team. Everything was better back then. And then GW came and fucked it up. Fuck you, GW. Die in a ditch. Yeah, Demon Sub, that's pretty much it. I think most colors don't never ever actually 
have the color in it that they say they have. <laughs> but the, the color that is most annoying to Protect me and hold over stuff is well, where yeah, is but it? three faces on the bottom of that page. It could have focused in on any of them. One of them was leaving Ross, actually. Uh, what is it? Where are you, you bloody paint? <laughs> Shadow gray. Space wolf. Holy white. Army painter speed paint. Yep. It, it's gray as fuck. <laughs> yes. Because all speed paints are a shade. Yeah, but then don't call it holy white, call it holy shade. Or... But it's what you put on to get the grey shade on your white. Nah, I want white. <laughs> and then just paint it white. I'm stupid like that. So, uh, I don't understand. You don't need to. Neither I'm do so I. Confused. I'm so confused. Do I why? Uh, yes. Do I winky? Where do we go next? Da, da, na, 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 na. Moo, moo, moo. 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 Carter of Mesme Ukos. Refresh. Yes. So, who who is Cute Goth 13? Uh, I don't think I've heard of her before. Is this some kind of newbie? Must be. Yep, long time lurker. Just started posting during the sprinkling challenge. Mm. Um, but these were the ones lovingly called the mustard ketchup tau by mustard ketchup. John, I think. John or it might have been Justin. However, I really like the big poppy colours on the tau. It makes sense for the cows. Moo, moo, moo. Um, also, I couldn't look through most of that on the sprinkling challenge because the project system was fucking fighting me and only half her project loaded. Mm. I was like, oh, you fuck. So she has been working on some new stuff. Um, and I just really like the uh, the work that's going into it. I'll be fascinated to see how that big fucker goes. 20 years of a Tau, whatever the fuck that is. We used to call it the pizza slice. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like a big manta ray thing. It was like 200 quid's worth of fucking resin. Oh, that basking sharks. <laughs> if you say so. Oh, oh, Nick. Yeah, that's expensive. Mm. 20 years, it's been sitting gathering dust. Finally going to get painted. I, I hope she uh, uh, cleaned it prior to... Uh... She hasn't primed it yet. I imagine she will. Though that, that could be an awesome weathering stage later on. The grit weathering? Yes. Ah, oh, is it fucked again? I know there I know there are two pages to this fucking project and it's only loaded one page in. Oh, you absolute can't. Project system. Don't make me fuck you. Just one page? Let's see. How many do I get? Yeah, it somehow stops at the 3rd of June. There's a really nice picture, and I think I talked about it in the Spring Team Challenge, but again, I couldn't get to the previous page. Ah, got to the previous page now, back here, where uh, I will just throw the link into the chat. But her husband, she played a game against him with these Tau in like 2011. And it was like that was the last time the tower had been out kicking ass and mooing at people and chewing the cud, whatever else it is that tower do. Moo, moo, moo. <laughs> so I've I've gotta say I, I like the, the color scheme she's made for, for them. It it's a mixture of uh the the classic tau beige brown stuff and some kind of uh Gundam like panel lining. With alternating colors? Yes. There's like a, a German spaghetti three-tone camo on some of the, the bigger vehicles and stuff where it's all been painted and then just these massive spaghetti trails of color have been splashed over them. You're talking about this one? Yes. That type of thing. That I really like because let's face it, it's future... I imagine it's mostly decorative, with the exception of the orcs 
uh, everybody else is bound to have some form of fucking targeter. And and for all we know, this could be moving color on an actual vehicle, so being not not a static. Uh, well, it's also on the cloaks of some of the ethereals. Yeah, so it's maybe changing all the time. Bish bash bosh, you guts. Bam. The biggest thing for me is the fact that she decided to finish painting this slash go back and refresh them and went, I want to have really bright poppy red and yellow. Everything gets sprayed black. Black shall be my base coat. I shall paint up from black to yellow. God, I would have went, no, fuck that. So there they are, April nice. 2011, just 12 years ago. Welcome, B. Muzzer. Uh, project system has been acting up again. Yeah, I, we get that a lot. <laughs> also, I have a sneaking suspicion. Um, it looks like she's been updating the project in large chunks. And yes. I'm not, not sure, but I think uh, the project system tries to keep everything that's posted in, on one day on one page. So maybe there's just too much for June the 3rd that it just cuts off. Oh, I hit refresh and it worked the second time. Mm. Which is how I sent you that picture. <laughs> refresh! Bastard! <laughs> Secret project project system works fine. That's true. Why would it not? But yeah. That's just a really Policy. punchy little thing. Um, where was I? Ooh, no, it wasn't a dazzle. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, Demon. The neat part. I think these days you don't have to worry about being neat. You fire it on and then you go back in with the black oil and then do all the panel lining afterwards because then you can just clean that off to your heart's content. You just slop it away up to each you know, panel doesn't matter where it goes in the middle and then just fucking mask it with a nice solid black lined oil yeah and then walk away happy with life nothing wrong with that that's mm. mostly the way i do it dun, 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 oh dun, there's dun, the dun, dun. we're all very impressed by the pink on your tyrannid spine things by the way moser Particularly because it looks like you've photoshopped out parts of the uh, model. And you've used pink to mask it. It's so fucking weird. Yeah. The, the flatness of the pink against the color flip paint just looks like it's not real. <laughs> Look at it. Catch a wee mad bastard. And I didn't do anything and it just whacked me back to the top of the page. Well, it's where you deserve to be. Well, then... Goes. Let us show the audience another interesting project of today. Maybe? No, nope. perhaps. No more interesting projects. All nope. the rest are okay. just going to slog just... through and be offended by. Scribs! Heading overseas with scribs. buttons. Scribs, I see new scribs. Oh, look. Like the minis and the shields are a big plus. Mwahaha. I can't believe you said that. Why shouldn't I? You you just waited your turn and I beat you to it. Oh. Professionally painted? Well, painted by Scribs. So, don't know how professional he is. Could be a little bit professional. Mm, Islamic Light Cavalry. Yes. Bam, 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 bam. Again, one of these... Who's oh, way too talented? Should have been that. Sorry, I'm just clicking on things. Oh, and no. Give you no. the wrong link. That's the link to the actual project, not to the uh, individual thingy thing. But yes, Scribulation has been working on some light calf. It's funny because obviously we see the Turker pole creeping around with the Westerners earlier in Piers. And then here's the Islamic light, their um, Muslim counterparts. Oh, look. It's not foot on rock. It's foot on helmet. Foot that's on great helm. That's tactical as fuck. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, only after you've killed Christian. Yeah, that, there needs to be a head inside the helmet. Oh, I'm sure there is. Don't worry. 
don't don't worry about it. There will be. Look at this lovely mamlucksness. Mamlucks. Look at the lovely hand painted shield. Yeah, that's uh, way too much effort. Oh. Why would you not? Because I'm a lazy git. I never clean mold lines. I barely do details. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Yes. Oh my god. You live with yourself. Uh, who says I'm alive? Mm. For all you folk know, I might be an AI generated white job. That's true. That would explain a lot. The Indeed. Hitler just for a start. <laughs> oh, you lucky man. I was contemplating about what to drink tonight and the choices were between coffee, beer and lovely brown lemonade. Mm, outrageous. And then I thought to myself, it's my first week of working again. Alcohol might be a bit too much. Brown lemonade might take me to the other side and make me knurred. <laughs> so I'm staying with coffee for now. Absolutely shocking. What Look at the, the little dolly hell mixtures. is that? What is what? That is a flamethrower. Oh. Although they refer to it as a naphtha thrower. Good old naphtha. Like Greek fire. They pom in the morning. It's the one. Never seen that before. I mean, I knew that Greek fire has been used for ages, but I'd never seen a handheld version used as a flamethrower. They were clever. Especially when it came to defending themselves from the errant aggression of some Christians. The best way to do that is by covering the ball in hot jazz. Religious nut jobs are dangerous. Niece lives in Germany. Ah, oh, she knows about the brown lemonade. Oh my God! I hope you've, uh, <laughs> I hope you've warned her about the dangers of brown lemonade. Suggest that she takes up a massive cocaine habit or alcoholism instead, as the safer alternative. <laughs> Once you've tasted the lovely brown lemonade, you will never go back. Uh... Yes, that one. to be fair. Welcome, Rivers. Hello. It pretty much. Say, look, there I was going thing of hers <laughs> earlier. But he shall appear. Um, Naptha throwers are, tend to be bastards in every game system where they appear. Even in ones where they're not. I mean, you can get them for Saga, for example. Uh, and they do a ton of damage and then get removed. But generally, they'll take out whatever you've aimed them at you know so as long as you don't aim them at something pointless like levy you can just go well say goodbye to a big chunk of your very expensive elites whoosh <laughs> naphtha 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 <laughs> Ralph, like, welcome him... long time no see I hope you're feeling well so after uh, these lovely Burns war thingies where do we go next Next, you want war? War. Next, next. We're going to be checking out the uh, multi-award-winning moonstone. Mm. Back, spoil room blitz. Tiny roast chickens. Tiny, as you say, roast, discuss chickens. Oh, so look at that we had lovely. we had seen Bex had started work on the, like the basing in a ballroom style uh, she's done so much more including and i think this is genius getting tiny little picture frames and then gluing them on to magic the gathering cards and then cutting those cards off to get your picture which is fucking genius indeed i, I love the carpet <laughs> yes the owl bear carpet <laughs> that's just great it's, it's not right it's what it is i'm just going to say right now the poor owlbear. I'd like to point out there's a kitten yeah, curled I've seen. up in the middle of the dead owlbear carpet. Is that a moonstone mini or is that something different? No, no idea where that's from. I think it says further down. 
but that's, it's that's started to fade out. Because I think it's one of the 3D printed pieces. So some of the bits and pieces there, like the table and the chairs and the candelabra and things are the Mantic terrain crate ones. And then the other bits that aren't those uh, come via the medium of 3D printing. Just, just look at the face of that old bear being oh, I, mean, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> 100%. 100 percent pissed off and yep, this I'll... will teach this will teach druids about changing into owl bears <laughs> in areas that are designated as hunting zones so we are hunting owl bears <laughs> yeah oh grand it's it's corker i also like the fact that the owl bear is painted in weird colors it reminds me of warhammer or not warhammer sorry warcraft um they're druids with the big eyebrows and the weird blues and greens and purples. It's it's just a bit more interesting than uh, a standard owl slash bear colour. Oh, look, there's a hand uh, coming out of the... Yeah, don't worry about that either. Door. It's, it's fine. It's, it's grand. Just, please, you know, sir, just ch can chill I out. have some more? Some more, please, sir. Just... This is just... Bonkers great. I love the the kitty. <laughs> yes, no elf druids. They were just the worst. That's so why you should always kill them off. Kitty snuggled up to something that could be a moonstone and then a very flat owl bear. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's disguised as a rug. It's not really a rug. He he just needs to, to lay down there for eight hours a day and then can go home again. <laughs> He's, he came in to thieve all round. <laughs> and then the residents woke up and now he's just left lying there with the cat rolling back on his back, trying hard not to breathe and trying to be as flat as possible. <laughs> and the cat is on his back going all with his claws. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I do love that rock. Oh, no. No? <laughs> oh, no. What now? Well, Pete has decided that it's not a moonstone. And given that moonstones evaporate in daylight, I mean, it's probably not a moonstone. So he has suggested it could be an owlbear penis. <laughs> well, why does it come out the back? <laughs> uh, it's a dead owlbear, isn't it? <laughs> you give the penis to your cat as a chew toy to play with. <laughs> red rocket, red rocket. Oh, thanks for reminding me of that South Park episode. Good times. <laughs> Good times. But yeah, Bex has been doing um, some, apart from the actual terrain uh, diorama piece, um, but really nice paint work on the actual miniatures themselves. Yeah, I, I, I need, I think I'll need to uh, read up on this where that weird model comes from. Does she say somewhere? Uh, I'm pretty sure pretty it's sure. going to be one of these 3d printed pieces bump 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 here maybe scroll back up now and uh, look at yeah. it i hit you Sad. the most just the most Sad. Sad yep. faces. Uh, well, fuck you yeah. mm. why do i keep coming back i don't know mm. uh, because of a charming uh thingamajig doesn't he say? So I'm going to say it's one of the 3D printed pieces and you'll just have to wait and see whether or not she will actually tell you what it is. Or is whether you'll Bex just have to Hobby suffer. Shop in Sunny Scarborough Ewok Kebab wants to know? I don't know. Um, oh man. I know I linked it somewhere because I went, I went and found it because she didn't. I know what it is. Hang on. No, no, it's not. Well, it might be. <laughs> No, remember she did a card game that she got published? Yes. So I think in the Body Snatchers project, it might say where she's at. Or was it? No, it was Kings of War. Yes, because I was going, oh, look, Northern Alliance. And then she was very graciously gifted the... Uh, Opportunity to paint a full King's of War army. See, see how supportive and great that is. Excellent. I'm scrolling through things. 
<laughs> I'll give you another one while we. Uh... Yeah, let's. Let's go. Oh. Our survey says I might sneeze. Bless you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. From 40k to roleplay through Trojan turps. Why not turnips? Again. So somebody is kit bashing odd shaped miniatures. Snake men. <laughs> yes. Or is it lizard people? Could be both. Oh, look. <laughs> Green stuffy bits. Could be green stuffy bits. Could why be. would people do that? Why will? Or why won't? Or what? Who? What's wrong with you? Why would uh, people do such go to such lengths and catchy. convert stuff and make weird proper trends what's it called? Um transitions Transition. from one part to the next. Because why not? Why not do it? I mean, you're sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, that's exactly my point. It's good to be the king. All hail. Mm -hmm. North Star Snake Man, says to himself. <clears throat> oh, I, I found myself in a bit of a... Um, a dilemma is the wrong word. Um... Delicious? Maybe that also. I was thinking I'd really like to go into a store and just look at some of North Star boxes and get one or two to make just random miniatures. Mm -hmm. There's zero fucking stores in the area that have them. So I would need to order them online, which isn't half as fun as going into a store, picking up boxes and looking at them. I mean, there's only way it's going to change, and that's if you firebomb any of your local stores who stock GW. And once you've done two or three of them, the others will soon catch on and fall in line. Uh, currently, we only have, to my knowledge, two stores. One is a Warhammer store, and uh, one Well, is... let's start with that one, then. <laughs> oh, there's no need to firebomb that one. That's been closed so many times. Still, it's always good to send a message. Anyway. So Trojan Terps, a uh, oh, long time ago, decided he was going to get back into uh, wargaming via um, a role-playing campaign he did with his family. Uh, and then he started looking around for miniatures um, to introduce his kids and discovered Hell's Bells. There are hundreds upon thousands of companies out there now. Uh, so he's been quietly building and painting a whole host of stuff, including terrain. As time goes on, this recent bunch of stuff is, as you can see, a lot of kit bashingness. There is a really good uh, teaser video with like a, a mad industrial metal soundtrack uh, as it just pans across some of his creations in that stark black and white, which, you know, is great. I'm all for that. Yeah, it's... He definitely has a a nose for how to um, kit bash his miniatures. Mm. Oh, is there the Isle of Doom? Sweet. Doom. doom, doom, doom. Obviously, I've been doing a lot of kit bashing recently. <laughs> you're messing up with the. See, if you don't hear the industrial music, well, oh, probably people are. Are they? Can you play they that? are. Yep, that's some weird shit. <laughs> it's like something that be played on like a 1970s sapphire and steel episode. <laughs> it's great. Also, these these are nice. The little oh, the tiny walnut bug creatures. Yes, chestnut. See, walk. This is what you should be making for the doomed. Doom, 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 doom. That's the one, what he said. 
because they're just such a peculiar. It's like, what am I going to do with these nutshells, leftover uh, bits, and, and free time? Oh, I'll set with a bunch of. I'm going to go out and live and say lead solder because it, it would explain the madness that's setting in. <laughs> they may just be regular bits of wire, but you know, constant but, handling of lead based solder probably isn't helping. And I love that little tiny goblin. Which poncho. one? Oh, this this one was the the cigar. The cigar and the good, the, the bad, the goblin. And a little poncho on him. Get ready to stab up angel eyes. <laughs> Germans will just launch nibble Uh who? <laughs> snaps, snaps, snaps. Oh. I have. I had a great video I found of Nebs launching uh, on the the YouTubes. And it was just like 30 seconds of Nebs firing. I mean, if we played Flames of War, because I always used to run at least one battery of them, sometimes one very big battery. And then every shooting phase, I would just hit the point where I was launching the Nebs, and I would just play that on my phone. <laughs> so my mate was just going, what? No, Oof. don't. Go, Can you guess what's coming, Doogie? <laughs> 30 seconds of screeching and then I would take out the you might not be able to do that, you won't be able to see it the 12 inch square blast for using a battery of six nebs <laughs> which I just go A-ka-da! all gone it actually comes with could it, no I can't be arse rolling it actually comes with four stands that are like so you can put them tall. on top of the miniatures so you can you can <laughs> make it up and then just set it down on the table and just stand back and admire it in all its glory <laughs> so you don't have to hold it or anything you just look down and go i'm lucky doug who's infantry off Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
I love the fact that he hasn't given it rat's ass about how crooked the spears look. <laughs> They're all wobbly like. Bless you. Danke. Yeah, I mean, that is the problem with cast spears. But look, there's the little boar spears with the cross pace to stop people running down the thing, which is very important when you're hunting vampires. If you miss the heart, <laughs> you don't want them running straight down the haft of the spear and then stabbing you up or biting mm. you. See, a bit like John Carpenter's vampire. <laughs> I, I was re-watching uh, a breakdown of John Carpenter's films the other day. They were, <laughs> I mean... It's they, like some just, people. Let's just put it like this: John Carpenter's Vampire did not rate very highly. Did it? No. Oh, why not? Because out of all the catalogue of stuff he's done, it's some of the worst. But thankfully, he's done some terrible things like uh, The Ward and Ghosts of Mars and stuff like that, which obviously kept it off the bottom spot. It, it's like that. Uh, you you need to have some low point. Otherwise, how will people be able to make well, we a all top thought ten that of was, We all thought that that was escape from LA. That was the low point. He didn't need to jump that shark. <laughs> but on the plus side, it does have Jared Butler playing Judas as the first vampire, if I remember that film correctly. So, Escape from LA was the sequel to Escape from New York? Yes. Uh, Oh, so just wondering if I've got those mixed up. Oh, you could never get them mixed up. One's a great film and the other is appalling. I, I know I've watched uh, the first one. I'm pretty sure I've watched the second one, but I can't remember. Zilch. <laughs> well, in that case, that's protective amnesia, and I'm not even going to say anything that happened in the second one in, well, case, uh, uh, in case it brings back memories. I, I could I could have a stroke on camera and just drop uh, dead. <laughs> I hope you don't have a stroke on camera. You get banned for that. <gasps> get a little bit of teak down there, Pete. A little bit of mahogany. Oh dear, he's <laughs> awful. Bum. Anyway, so yes, I just really like Denzine's project to um, just the idea because the amount of people who looked at Silver Bayonet and then went, "Yes, Silver Bayonet's great," and then some people were going, "Well, what if we do it?" earlier do like a silver bayonet pike and shop but keep it in you know all of them were really keep it in europe just keep doing it but do it in europe uh, denzi came along and went hold my tequila to mexico uh, went off to mehi and as you say co and uh i just think it's it's a really nice approach so much so that uh, i'm fairly certain that's where uh, joe and ash stole the idea from to do the next book in canada canadian a lot of trees and some Inuits? Sure. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Nobody knows what's there. Hop in a hot tub. No, thanks. I'm warm enough as is. Thomas Ian Griffith is the vampire of that one. I think you're thinking of the Henry Rollins movie. Uh, I've never seen Henry Rollins do anything except stand up. So I'm not thinking of the Henry Rollins movie, but Jared Butler definitely played Judas the Vampire in a vampire movie. So I'm just going to go ahead and Google that while we're here, scrolling through them. Oh, I really like his trade, but then Denzine's stuff is always really nice. Yeah, he has a way <laughs> to make things look nice. Instructions can be viewed on the website product page. Well, that's nice. Sure. As long as the product page is still up. <laughs> Could be. Could be still up. Only if you're very unlucky, though. You played Dracula in Dracula 2000. Is that what it was? Henry Colin Rollins plays a cop in one movie. I'm sure that would be surreal. It was Dracula 2000 by... And was that the film that didn't get released in 2000? 
it got pushed back, so it was like released in 2002 or something like that. <laughs> da, da, da. I've seen an interview with Henry Rollins lately, and he said, yeah, I'm not doing any more music. And Wes Craven presents Dracula 2000. There we go. Anyway. Yeah, Pete, Henry Rollins is Rollins band. Yes. Some kind of punky... Punky, well, not just the Henry Rollins band. He was also the lead singer of Black Flag for fucking years. Yeah, and, and he said he stopped doing music because he, he's out of new material and he doesn't want to regurgitate all his uh, old stuff. The spoken word stuff is fucking remarkable. Yeah. That's, he, he is an, an intelligent guy. I give him that. It's because he, for some unknown reason doesn't drink or do drugs, unlike all the other crazed lunatic punkers out there. <laughs> oh, John Carter Mars. That's really annoying, Chris, because I won't be here to watch John Carter Mars. I'll be playing uh, Dead Man's Hand and Malifaux. Well, I'm pretty sure you've already seen that movie. Oh, no, no, I won't be. Yeah, yeah. Have I? No, yes. Well, I have, but not in the House of Water, hashtag best house. So... So I'm, I'm thinking Grimwolf is talking about Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, I remember a, a, a snippet where he gets killed off on the toilet. I've heard of Sons of Anarchy, and one of my friends who's a biker wanted to be a biker in Sons of Anarchy when they were filming over here, but he wasn't biker enough for them. <laughs> but he's literally a biker. So I can only assume it's because he didn't have a massive beard uh, or look overweight because he's very fit. <laughs> Being that he's a mountain climber and you know one of these type of people in, in his job, so yeah. depressing. That's it's a sure. skinhead. So I mean that should have stood him in good stead. But anyway, uh, let, yeah, let's go to, to the next project because people will be getting Jolly. envious of Denzian stuff if you look at it too long. Johnny Mnemonic is that the cartoon? Is that a cartoon? 69th Hemphist was returned by the Bellon. Bam. I believe, as they say. Yes, some of those uh, Krieg types. What Lloyd keeps thinking about putting together, <laughs> but will never in a, actually put anything together. So, so he will be making your room before he does his Krieg? Yeah, I've not seen that. But yes, I mean, the 40k stuff's okay. Eh, you know, it is what it is. He's, he's got a big bit of Forge World as well. Look at all the tiny people to rank up and stand at the back of it, like tiny and, people. And get shot. <laughs> yeah, it's the best way to... I mean, that's what we all want in life, isn't it? To slowly exit one loading ramp while you're being machine gunned down. But... Well, that was it. That they were filming up around Lauren direction for the Belfast stuff, and then they they seemed to find people who apparently couldn't do a fucking do an accent in any way, shape, or form. Uh, presumably, none of these monkeys from here got a chance to say anything, so it would have just been American people. We'll bring the Americans <laughs> across and put on a fake Irish accent. That's generally how these things work. Anyway, get away from the 40k. Get away from the 40k. Oh, look, King's War. Sweet. <laughs> Never expected to see that down here. Oh, no. So he started to play King's of War uh, as club um, are doing a 500 point King's of War ambush day to get people into it. Now, this was. Oh, a more month 40k ago. to skip. Oh, no. Wait, so... skip, skip, skip. And Moonstone. Yeah. There is Moonstone as well. Why is there a big half-naked per person in the background of this unit of longsword? Well, that unit's on the... Uh, what you call it? On the turn. So that big ogre in there is protecting the right flag with those <laughs> other guys there who've turned slightly. You see the guy at the front who's mm -hmm. turned massively, 45 degrees, whereas the rest of them are still moving forward. Covering their flanks, that's important. I like the fact that he's added the big stovepipe shako 
to his massive fat ogre uh, to blend him in with the rest of the regiment. Oh, please see. I'm going to have a big floppy hat on. Why You'll not? never know he's destroyed. there. Oh, that's very dull then. Like I say, I've never seen it. Uh, Justin keeps talking about it and then keeps talking about the board game. But I have no interest in bikes. So, what can I say? Anyway, where was I? Yes. A month ago, he posted this. Bellin. Oh, buddy, oh, pal. So by now, I would expect... A better report. You should have play the games and could come back and, uh, and tell us how it's going. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Also, 495 points. You could have fired a five-point item in there somewhere. Maybe, but I would have dropped something and um, give yourself a source of inspiring because you have no inspiring. And they'll only stick around until somebody gives them a slap and then they'll run. And on that occasion, when your opponent rolls like a dodgy 10 and you don't have a source of inspiring, they're not coming back. They're just oof and away. So I'm just saying, maybe maybe the foot guard, who are, I mean, foot guard are beefy. They're good. I do like the foot guard. Actually, I should probably drop the spear phalanx to a uh, trip. And then that might get you the points. Uh, 30, 40, 45. No, I won't get you the points. I think it's only like 50 points. You just need to free up 50 points from somewhere. Look at me. Look at me. You just need 50 points. I'm going to companion app, actually, and I'll tell you what you need. Because it's really, I mean, why would you not be doing this? Uh, what are we looking for? You run them as League of Rordia or King, no, Kingdoms of Men. League of Rordia might be a way to go for you. I'm just saying. You should look into that. Experiment with it. Be all that you can be. A trip of crossbow. Presumably because you have the crossbow. Tinker for a guard. Regiment, great, yes. Love them. Uh, you've gone for the beast calf because, I mean, why would you not? And presumably, like me, you also have a big set of demigriff knights kicking around somewhere. So that's 345. A source of inspiring is 50 points. See, I was right. So that's 395. So we only really have 105 points to play with. So you're not getting your phalanx. But at the same time, to be care, what if what if that pike phalanx became a polearm block instead? I know they're not the same weapons, but it is 105 points. That's 500. Bang on. So you just swap your pike for polearm. Chuck in a 50 point and source of inspiring, and away you go. Now go and play that, and then come back and tell us how it worked. Go, 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 go. go. And Dave says he hates inspiring. Why did you hate inspiring? <laughs> because I I'm guessing he's on the receiving end of that. <laughs> inspiring, is, inspiring is a re roll if your opponent breaks one of your units. So it's a, a single re roll for people within six inches. Um, so essentially, you should have three, maybe four sources of inspiring um, to go with every part of your army. So, you know, you've got your center and your two flanks, and then if you've got maybe a cavalry wing or a flyer wing that's going to hair off, you want somebody either on like a cheap pegasus or a horse that can keep up, because all it takes is for one point of damage and then some cheeky double six dice roll and a big block goes away. Um, he could take stuff in hordes normally, although I don't think he can take the foot garden hordes. Actually, maybe he can can't remember it's been a while all my foot guard are in regiments because i use romans um and so i just want the 20 man blocks but in ambush you can't take hordes so he wouldn't be allowed to in these 500 point games yeah anyway he's not using heavy calf but the beast calf count is heavy because they've got thunderous charge and vicious so they head on threes uh they've got one pierce and they reroll ones so it's not great. They're more a grind. They're more an anvil, like a big mobile anvil, um, than an actual shock calf. But 
presumably he's got them sitting handy. So oh, yeah. I think Crispin hasn't been paying attention. He just <laughs> now noticed your background. Oh, Crispin. Oh. oh Crispin. It's sheep pegasus. Do you pick them up at the nightmare club? Could do. Could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, good times. Anyway, so yes. So uh, who who do we uh, talk about next? Uh, there is one we we'll talk about next. It's Draconis. Oh, no. He's been painting vehicles for the War Among the Stars. Hmm, looks like this project hasn't been loading correctly. There's a lot missing on the right side. Hold on to your hats. Doing the incredible dangerous refresh. Oh, why would you do that? Because the only thing you're messing down the right is adverts and shit like that, isn't it? And the most recent the forums comments. and stuff. Yes, forums. Forums are great. Forums are nice. Forums yeah, but we're not looking at that. We're looking at this project with these miniatures and these boxes, which are all loaded before you hit refresh. Uh, really, all you're doing there is just you're setting yourself up for a massive shit kicking when it doesn't load. Yes. And half the pictures disappear then. That'd yes. Be very silly of you. Oh, very silly. Anyway. Oh, clone RTA. And he did uh, magnetize weapons, as it looks. I mean, it's what everybody says they're going to do. I said I was going to do it. And then I thought, fuck it, I'll just tell people I'm, whatever gun I'm using. Well, let's go ahead and glue the gun in. But the nice thing about the these little walkers is the fitting of the guns is so snug, you don't even need a magnet. Not the start, but over time that will wear away, and then it becomes schlack. Well, be loose. Not on my watch, as I have magnetized it. Uh, I, so, I was way younger back then when we started with Legion. And will you do it on the uh, other Legion models you pick up during the fire sale then, or is it just that time has passed? I suppose they'll be so cheap you won't need to magnetize it, you'll just be able to get multiples and glue them all with a single weapon. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to say yes. Mm. I'm not committing, but I'm going to say yes. Actually, if there will is a fire sale like they did with uh, oh, hold on, X-wing with X-wing first edition, I'll definitely be snagging up <laughs> models left, <laughs> exactly. right, and center. Pete. Schlack, very schlack. Also, like to see that he's seasoning his barks uh, with some turmeric. So that's good. But I really like, I like somebody doing the punchy first generation clone troopers where they're all, or the, you know, all the yellows and whites. It's just so nice. These days, all you ever see are Emperor's fists everywhere. It's like the <laughs> Waffen SS, but for Star Wars, there's just so many, so many 501st kicking around, fisting Vader, that you just go, oh, Christ, how many of them must there be? Every every stormtrooper is a Vader's fester. Well, I think it's being basically because the 501st has been in, in the extended law for ages now and is, I think, similar to Ultramarines. It's the first chapter oh, everybody yeah. knows. Could be, could be that. Could be that. Oh, I, uh, speaking of Legion, I had a little laugh today as um, Army Painter... Uh, yes. Did a video on how to paint Star Wars Legion models with uh, speed paints. Yeah. And the post on Facebook said they were mi miniatures by Fantasy Flight Games. Which is I mean... to a degree correct because they were the first generation core box. So they were actually made by Fantasy Flight Games, but. There you go. Also, no, because it's now Atomic Mass Games. But yeah, that was the but... funny thing. Somebody then corrected me and said, no, no, those are not Shatterpoint miniatures. Those are for Imperial Assault. Oh, cool. No, mister, they're not Imperial Assault. 
which is a board game, yeah. which are played by the worst people. Oh, Grim Wolf, uh, don't, don't worry. It's it's just a uh, Jerry's death wish for Legion. <laughs> when my wish. We all know it's coming. When Star Wars Crisis Protocol gets its footing, they are going to drop Legion like a hot turd. <laughs> it's going. I, I wish I could say comfortably, yes, that's not going to happen, but it's business. I think um, we all know it is. Let's I, be. I don't even. I think even if you go to the, the Legion um, website page thing, it's still hot garbage. That looks like the. It's like whenever you get one of those Kickstarters that's been started by somebody who's just looking to scam people, and they put up like one page, like a holding page, and everything else links to this is coming soon. Yeah, that's what, that's what the Legion page is like from uh, Atomic Mass Games. They could not give a fuck. And as soon as they can go goodbye, it will be in a fire seal so quickly your feet won't touch the ground. The, the web page is a hot mess. <laughs> yeah. You know, why, why bother investing time, effort, and coding uh, and web design into something that you're going to be running through a fire seal at next year's Essen? You know, just it's going. We all know it's going. People had been picking up stuff at Essen back in the day by. The metric ton. It's oh wow! They've added the assembly PDFs of the models. Be still my beating heart. Stop quivering my sphincter. Fucking hell! I mean, talk about the bare fucking minimum, and that is the bare fucking minimum. I think what annoys me the most about Atomic Mass Games homepage is the actual inconsistency of the menus on their site. It's just all oh. over the place. I've given up looking near it. If, if you're not, not having a bookmark on the page you want to go, it's very hard to find what you want. It's I, I'm not sure who did it or where the problem lies, but it's uh, incoherent. Just... Do they start all their Twitch streams with, let's talk about our sponsor, Squarespace? <laughs> not yet, I think. No, I'm just, I'm just wondering. I hope not. Just but, look at that. I know Lloyd complains about some of the Indies of the Week I bring up, but at least those people are fucking doing something with their website. Yeah, the site I know they're great, but they're putting fucking miniatures on it. Just look at that. That is horseshit. Yeah, it's it's a bit baffling that a, a company selling miniatures is so low on pictures. Mm. And I, I would... I mean... <laughs> Oh, that'll be the next one. Welcome to Raid Shadow Le Legends <laughs> Crisis Protocol. Just wait them get the IP on that and then dump the others. We're done with this Marvel and Star Wars nonsense. Let's move on. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Oh, please don't. Ah, <laughs> oh, class. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, to, to be fair, if I were in, in anybody's seat leading a company I'm, I'm not sure if i would fare oh, better in any way you know i completely forgot armada even was a thing that existed jam yeah and and <laughs> uh, i mean uh, when they took over armada the, it was immediately oh, put on hold so i'm not expecting there to be anything new for armada but for legion they are technically still churning out new stuff and uh, i'm still waiting for my murder teddies Actually, they should be on the way now. Yeah. Wow, that is that is poor. And the the, the uh, most annoying Flat. thing uh, today, I received the newsletter from Asmodee Germany, and they had preview of um, of the new Legion and X Wing tournament kits. Mm. And the Legion tournament kit had a uh, image of Jabba's. Uh, bark, this this yes, the skiff. skiff, yeah, yeah. And I, before I read what it was, I just saw the the image, and I was, yes, <laughs> give me that, <laughs> give me Java's barge, I want that, <laughs> give it not to me. It. It's not for you. Um, no, they, it's just just a picture. It's just cards, tokens. So. Well, I mean, what was the last thing they released in that ridiculous way? Oh, what, what was do you it? mean? 
uh, whenever they always do like the the special things and they cost like for tournaments and conventions oh uh and they've I... they've got they've got like fucking they make 12 for each continent and 24 for the u.s I, I think that was the uh, dual set from uh, Vader and Luke on the Death Star 2. Right. Uh, it was like 100 odds or more for no, two characters. Was, what, no, it actually was re rather, rather reasonably priced. I was think it? it was, because, yeah, 50, because, 60. Fucking, because that's cheaper than the single model of Obi-Wan. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, also the Obi-Wan figure on the day on the convention was cheaper than it was later on on ebay so there's that yeah but i didn't get mine from ebay i got mine from the convention mm. and it was more expensive than that i think it was i think the fucker was 80. no 80 the, euro. The miniatures weren't that expensive oh i have to go back and have a look i'm pretty sure it was anyway i can only dread to think what a fucking jab of the hat would cost never mind adding them on a skiff <laughs> It would just be obscene. Okay, can you imagine Jabba the Hutt on uh, this this uh, hover uh, this this, this uh, carriage thing they had on the Mandalorian for the other two huts, sitting mm. in the background of your army, ha having just one attack, rolling over you. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine it. Thankfully, we'll never see it because Legion will be fire sealed long time before they ever get to the huts. But you know, I hate you so much sometimes. How long ago did they announce the Ewoks? I think Fantasy Flight Games announced the Ewoks. <laughs> nope. Nope. Actually not. Nope. <laughs> uh, what, what's this little guy called again? Uh, Salacious Crumb? Yes. We need an army of that. <laughs> a, little, a little army of Salacious Crumbs. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it, and, and, and you're going to hate me for it. Yeah. If Atomic Mass Games ever chooses to go solid, we're not making miniatures anymore, we're just releasing the digital files for Legion, I'm having myself a 3D printer. Yeah, I, I'm i going to go out and limb right now, and I'm going to say... That's never no going to happen. Disney, yeah. let them put out those files. That's never going to 3D print. Never. Not unless they can find some way to make you go. You you bought one. You can print one set, and yeah. then the and then the thing just fucking yucks itself, and you have to it, buy another file to to print another set. Until Disney can do that, they will not release that into the wild. And if that tech is available, Games Workshop will go digital. That's an mm. interesting question. I would say yes. Bear in mind, I have no idea. Well, technically, technically, as long as it's the same resin type and just a different color, it should work. But I wouldn't bet on it. I've seen people mixing those spools of wire for the other printers, the FDM ones. But that just heats it up and melts it out. So, I don't know. Yeah, so um, since we have now totally derailed this, where do we go yes. down? I haven't derailed it. It's not my fault that AMG are finally putting out the last things that Fantasy Flight announced three years ago during COVID. I then are going to fire seal the rest of it. Ah. I'm going to shoot myself in the foot right now. <laughs> Hello, Bob. What's Bob doing? Bob, nice to see you. Bob has been working Bob. on his Blood and Plunder. Uh, he's also been playing games as well. Fucking madness. What? So here you can see a man with a chicken. <laughs> Didn't notice that before. Did you not? No, I, I was too too far, too much focused on the icons he managed to screen grab as well. <laughs> Why is he holding a chicken? Because he's hungry. I, I want that no, I mean, it's, it's, a all... it's entirely possible it's a pheasant, which would make him a pheasant plucker. Don't say that after two pints of uh, brown lemonade. Isn't plucker? I now want a miniature that's exactly this. Somebody holding a dead bird. We'll, we'll get to it. So, um, as you can see, he's been painting his uh, British regulars. 
some are fire lock plastics uh, a few are um, drafted in from black scorpion uh, i think it's even had some 3d prints crept in courtesy of somebody so he has an ossifer and his regulars he's running actual british regulars which is what i really want to do but i don't have enough of the fuckers I must see if um mike will send me some more british troops so i can just run up and down and Lines of red coats and shit, Justin. Ooh, It'll amuse me. Ships. I see no ships. Boats. That's right. Um, so complete start set done. It's ships. With the two crews <laughs> plus his two boats. Ships. It's not ships. Or is it crisps? But if you go down, you will see most important thing that he's changed it up. He's got a mermaid figurehead on one. But then on his other, he has customized it via the medium of some uh, frost ah! grave sports. And I see. Ah, I once see. again, he has one of these chickens as his, uh, <laughs> his figurehead. Chicken, chicken. Winner, winner. winner. Chicken dinner. That's the one. Oh, that's great. I love inspiration. Well done, lad. Uh, uh, have I got so I can choose the green stuff castle or green skull castle stuff? Uh, um, no, I haven't got it yet, but when did that finish? Because uh, normally it's a few weeks to a month after it closes before the um, pledge manager opens because it takes two weeks before they get the money uh, and money, then money, money. and then they, they do the pledge manager uh, although I'm just going to open up pledge manager and see because it's entirely possible it came in one night when I was tired and emotional and I completed <laughs> it then <laughs> Uh, what are you laughing at? Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, absolutely knowing what you mean by getting back from work and having some kind of mail waiting for a reply and you really want to answer because you want stuff. I see that the thing there was the tired and emotional bit. There was an MP caught drink driving and he said he wasn't drunk. He was just tired and emotional, officer. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. I can't even remember if it was backer kit that these guys run through, but I think I've only got a couple of things that do these things. So I don't want creators. I want me. Where's me? Where's my staff? Are you drinking a beer? Oh. No, this is my emotional oh. support bottle. Why, have they, the... why do people keep changing shit? I want you to change shit, you useless bastards. To annoy you. My pledges. No, my surveys. Uh, and the survey uh, says uh, you're one. Survey says they're not in there. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Ralph, nope. you, you're all in pledge for Witcher Old World. I'm guessing is not as heavy as the dreaded uh, Gloomhaven was. Set it on the 19th. Ah, I'm not worried about it. the amount of times companies go, we're going to do it such and such a week, and then something happens, like the country starts burning down or they get invaded by Russia. Um, so I've, this is their third Kickstarter campaign. Fourth? Fourth? I would say fourth. I, and I've backed them, all the other ones, and I've got all the stuff. So, you know, I'm, I'm not worried about them disappearing over the horizon with my money. So. I think we have two more projects to look at. Yes. What's, we do. What's the next one? I know. He asked in a very calm voice. Uh, I'm not telling you. Uh, I may just have cut and Bob's project over that one. So I'm just going to... Oh, I hope that's also, right. Bob needs rigging on his ship. Need rigging. Nobody needs rigging. Rigging. Very Bob. important that you do this. Nobody Bob. needs rigging. rigging. Stop it. The Empire Bob. responds Bob. to the evasion of the Uruk. Hi. Hello, James. Mm. I think we've been here before. We at, have, at correct. Some point in the past. Yes. 
but there have been a couple of upgrades or upgrades updates recently, including Wing to Zaz. Huzzah! Favorite. Oh look, riding people with flags. Flags, flags, flags. Tiny little people with their tiny little flags. Tiny round men on tiny round horses, killing on everybody. Square bases. Well, you wouldn't be able to play proper games with them if they weren't on square bases. I'm just saying. Witcher Pledge. I don't know what that is. Was it by one of the hated companies? It was one by of uh, no or not. The website makes... is just about <laughs> creating people's paid jobs. I think at some point in time, I need to make a list of all your wordings and then just add a little button to my setup here that goes TM. <laughs> yeah, you know. It's the website for rating miniatures, TM. <laughs> they do deserve the TM. So many... No, you, you've got the trademark on that sentence. That's the oh, point. That's, okay, that's better. So many... Semi-dead, no. not living, but also not Fun-dead. dead. Undead, fun dead. I like. I can't remember the last time I was here with you, but there are some important things further down if you haven't seen us. We were here with this old chaos pits from March. Oh, okay, then. Because he is, he is holding his cock in one of the pictures. <laughs> Just saying. We're not going down there now. Not going down that far. No. no fun. Anyway, look at them. Look at the hussars. Huzzah! And look, and look at the dead orcs. <laughs> When the pools come calling, time is, to be a dead orc. Is, is that mandatory to have dead orcs in front of your unit, or is this just for funsies? Oh, just for fun. Okay. I, I love yeah. the fact that they actually are in front of those holding their spears lowest. <laughs> Don't want somebody coming up and crimping one of your spears. Obviously, you can no longer get the Kislev Winged Hazard for his fantasy empire army so he's done the lord's own work by going and getting some actual polish winged hussars which are better by one whole feather <laughs> the gw ones only had a single feathery back banner whereas the uh the historical ones have the the little flying v so that's always good i think there's even some boyars kicking around somewhere as well and of course some 30 war style pike and a couple of galloper guns flying v now i'm imagining cavalry with electric guitars on the backs going all could be <laughs> if you haven't seen it the polish equivalent of tank fest uh i want to say a couple of years ago had a load of tanks and apcs going hell for the horizon um and then about a hundred meters behind them came an entire regiment of Polish winged hussars. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the most majestic thing I've ever seen in my life. It's just all this modern armor and then followed by Polish cavalry. And going, oh, well, I mean, technically, I'm pretty sure the their tank regiment, there must be at least one of them are still rated as the hussars in some way, because I know British uh, regiments are still named after things like that, so so it's good. It's good times. Well, the, the, the U.S. cavalry actually comes in helicopters, so mm, yeah, there's that. <laughs> Old glories, wing desires, nice. Uh, was that, um, was I'm sure they were because it wasn't it wasn't a uniform uniform. If that makes sense. I, I th- think. I think there was a certain amount of put together your staff. I think some some weird lad over from the US was uh, talking about his odd fellowship at the beginning of the show. He was, but uh, thankfully we've already seen that because we're in the uh-huh. uh, hashtag best house. <laughs> also, uh, we, we were uh, already looking at project. So Artel W does impressive uh, odd miniatures. I mean, yep, sure. So I, not, I'm, not I've, I've got one odd. complaint to make. This yes. not Frodo miniature. Yes. Why is that a rock? Why is that not a potato? Because 
his massive foot would hide it. Well, it could be a big potato. It's not that fucking big. <laughs> I mean, maybe a turnip. Maybe. Their feet are huge. Oh. Their feet are fucking enormous. Look at the size of those things, for fuck's sake. It's like or, they're big, or like cabbage, textures. Or what's it called again? Uh... Drew's in the Marty Choke. Celeriac. Uh, the orangey type things the Americans... Pumpkin. Pumpkin, Squatch. thank you. Pumpkins. Because he would have eaten us. Potentially, don't need to be, that's true. Hobbits don't need to be barefoot either, Damon, but for some unknown reason, people freak the fuck out when they aren't. I don't know. It's very, very confusing. So, this fella, Luden. Luden, yes. I believe the double L is pronounced like a W, like in Welsh. <laughs> I don't know if any of that is true. <laughs> Wudan clan. Don't know how they pronounce double L's in Wales. Probably like somebody clearing their throat. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I should yes. be making that noise. So he oh. had collected a set of butt plugs and um, tiny fighting fellowship, <laughs> and he's been painting them up using, uh, I believe, some form of contrast. Crispin, are you painting the butt plugs as well? I know he's run out of plugage. So he's had to go on the internet looking for more. Mm. But yes, uh, I love these. I love these models. I really love the models. I'm really annoyed that after I finished doing the unboxing, I sent them to Ben. To be Why? fair, he, he is a 40k fan and a fellowship fan, and they would have just sat in a box in a corner. And I would never have got around to actually doing anything with them. So it was like, fuck it, Ben, here, you can have them. Ha has he done anything with them? I don't know, but I'll be bringing it up whenever I point out Luden's uh, project. Lack of golden buttons. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, there is, I mean, the, the grip shots of them standing there in the middle of the huge, uh, I have no idea what it is could be a I'm, church but equally it could also be i'm pretty sure that that's bank. a cathedral on some kind of uh, 40k ship there's no way to know for certain it is after no. all if only we all could 40K, ask him i mean it could for all we know it's the equivalent of a 40k deli and that's the take a number <laughs> bet to quickly serve for some of their sliced ham which or is made can you imagine dead cycles <laughs> i mean I, they all look like that they're it's mad the whole place is mad <laughs> it's billion sons fighter Oh, oh, Dave! I mean, the Billion Sons fire gives me it gives me tingly jubbly bits whenever I see it. It's good. So Fellowship or Forty K? Are they trying to defeat the Emperor? I would imagine so. Yeah, they they're going to try to to throw the Golden Throne into the sun. It makes sense. I mean, not Aragon must be like a sensei, one of the Emperor's grandchildren, and he probably knows that he needs to off the old man. <laughs> Which makes him a heretic in the view of the space Nazis. But what do they know? Would you finally let go, old man? Yep. Uh, just, just sit by the bed, just hovering by the uh, life support switch. There's a couple of unboxing. I don't know whoever did those, but he must be tall and handsome. But yeah, the, uh, the fellowship. That I mean, I remember him ordering them. And then having to play the patient waiting game for them to arrive. But from from him going, I'm going to start painting them to here they all are lined up in front of a cathedral. Seems like in a shockingly short amount of time. Now, most people, by the way, have decided that the elf uh, Lego Legolas is the nicestest. I'm not sure. I mean, it's all right. I think the only thing that needs the Gandalf guy is is an inquisitorial eye somewhere. Make him a Grand Inquisitor. He's a Grand Inquisitor. He's a fucking Belter Inquisitor. Yeah, What's a 40k end like? I'm guessing there's no ends because all plans are dead. No, there were crazy tree creatures in Rogue Trader. It would require me going all the way over there and getting it. Could uh, also be some kind of servitor. I've got Rogue Trader in my um, PC. 
<laughs> I'm still with that. That saves me getting up and going anywhere. Da, 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 da. A wooden uh, dreadnought. nod. <laughs> yeah. It, all it says is, I'm Groot. Realms, realms, realms. There we go, Rogue Trader. Orcs I, and mushrooms actually... must be ends. <laughs> well. Summoning vehicle robots, Spionic servitors, blah, blah, blah. Ab humans do care. Alien creatures. The Bilbo has no mouth and must scream. 217. 40k Tom Bombadil. Uh, some kind of ogre? Oh. He has no mouth. Yes, bring, up the picture. bring up the picture of his uh, hobbits again. Hobbits. Uh, I just, uh, actually, he had no mouth. He was at the back of the pack. Scroll, 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 stop. Oh, he's not pictured, is he? Oh, damn it. Sad voices. The last ring bear. Oh, I haven't heard any of that nonsense. He's not done yet. I want to see Boromir, and I'm hoping you've gone for the one does not simply paint a 40k fellowship. <laughs> so if you haven't, I'll be very annoyed. Da, 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 da. No, no, rubber ball spine. Spiker, no, none of them. Oh, yeah. uh, a Venus man trap, <laughs> right? So the Venus man trap is twenty to thirty meters tall. That's about end size. I think uh, that's also, larger than end. Also, unlike the fly traps on Earth, the man trap can actually move around. It's not static. So, that would be my guess for an end. Uh, in 40k, also they occasionally eat things, but don't worry about that. Would also be true, and it's now they're not plants. Triffid, <laughs> like that, like that. Very similar. I actually got to read that book after ages, having it on my watch list. I like it when we talk about the deep stuff. Day of the Triffids. Yes. Very. Odd book. <laughs> Have you seen the amazing BBC adaptation from the early 80s? No, yeah. I don't think so. Oh, you should hunt that down. It's corker. <laughs> well, I, I actually li like the book because it's so untypical. So not... Uh, mm -hmm. When he... For example, when he meets this this girl after all the things happened badly, it's just not going like in modern movies it does or modern books where they go full romantic. It's more re relatable. Not to be confused with the new romantics. I don't know. I don't know. But it's it's an interesting interesting book. Oh, there's sure. Barbier there. I miss Boromir the first time I scroll past. Look at him. Look at him. That's not simply. Don't look at it. You lost. What? <laughs> Very confused. And that's the whole point of this exercise, my dear friend. Okay. Elementary, Mr. Watson. Elementary. <gasps> Good to know. The Good. Mobile Library had lots of his stuff. Oh, I, I think they're talking about books now. Mm, that's nice. Mm. Read your books, children. Books are important. If you wait but, too long, you end up breaking your glasses when you have time <laughs> and you won't get to see anything. Do you speak out of experience? Well, I've seen the Twilight Zone episode. So. <laughs> what would be Barbie and Ken in 48? Well, Ken would be a servitor for sure. And Barbie would be a uh, adapter sororitas? Nah. Nah? Nah. It's probably a couple of Eldar. Dark Eldar? Pink sure. Dark Eldar? Goes either way. She wouldn't be a sex spot. She would be a... Uh, what what they are called in the Dark Eldar? The high ups? Uh, I can't remember. It's called racist elves. That's what yes. they're called. They're all called Let's go with that. Elves. She would be a chief among racist elves and uh, 
Lizard can would be some meat for the meat grinder. Lizard can. Could be. Could be lizard can. Never know. Bad as sex bot. Wow. Sorry. Just a confrontation <laughs> miniature. <laughs> and can, yes. Can in a can. Inflatable can. Ah, you know. It's it's shades <laughs> of grey, they're really jam, isn't it? How how can you tell which ones are the good ones and which ones are the bad ones? Yeah. Right. The dead ones. That's well, whether or not they're breathing, yeah, <laughs> that is a good start. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, yeah, yeah. This, this has been a nice, tightly scripted 30 minutes. Yes, uh, I thought so. Plus, minus. I almost kept my sanity. <laughs> Don't Google Barbie film. It does strange things to your browser. Well, that's f- for you, getting using A, Google, and B, letting it change your browser. Have you ever Googled cat? No, why would I? If you Google cat, there's a little cat paw in a circle. Oh, okay. And then when you click on the cat paw and then click anywhere on your um, on your window on screen, you get little cat paws come in, leaving little cat prints all over that's, the thing. That's just for people who don't actually have a cat. Yeah, as, just... as we have now two, that's enough. You, you don't want there just to be able to just sit there tapping for hours on you, your screen, going, "Oh, look, the cat balls come in." I actually, actually think when That's I when I'm at work children. and my wife is texting me via WhatsApp from her laptop, sometimes I'm getting gibberish, followed by "dang cats" all over the keys again. <laughs> and at some point, they actually manage to get some kind of key combination going and then her screen is flipped 90 degrees and stuff oh a nominous soft gibber thanks you very much weird never heard of a nominous gibber no idea best not say anything anyway yeah. See ya. also I, I now need to actually close my room here when I'm not here because oh, because uh, cats get in, mm-hmm. they piss on everything. No, no, not not as bad. But cat got in. Microphone was fallen over. Some of the Legion models were not there where I left them. Oh <laughs> so, dear! Uh, don't worry, you'll be able to replace them cheap enough anyway. <sighs> I really hate you sometimes. <laughs> I have become the opener of cans, and with that lucky image in your mind, I'm going to thank you, say thank you, Jerry. Thank you, audience. I'm Go flock yourself. To be here today. See you next week. Bye. Ah, button. Button not working. <laughs> <laughs>